Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Removal. Using a non-marring flat-bladed tool, carefully release the display enclosure from the display panel assembly. Caution. To prevent damage to the display enclosure, take extreme care when the flat-bladed tool is near any of the external buttons or connectors. Lift the display enclosure off of the display panel assembly and place it next to the display panel assembly. Important! There are four docking magnets, two pairs of two, seated on either side of the pogo pin connector of the display panel assembly. A pair comprises a magnet marked with two blue lines and a magnet with no line markings. The two blue lines on the magnet indicate magnetic north. During the removal of the display enclosure, some or all of the docking magnets may become unseated from the display panel assembly and separate from it. If this occurs, be sure to set them aside safely until you are ready to replace the display enclosure. Remove the retention tape that covers the battery cable connector. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the pogo board ZIF connector and disconnect the pogo board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Remove the display enclosure. Replacement Note: Before installing a new display enclosure, Remove the following from the old display enclosure and install on the new display enclosure. Pogo connector cable. Important! Before replacing the display enclosure, you need to ensure that both pairs of docking magnets are correctly positioned on the display panel assembly. For each pair of magnets, the magnet with the two blue lines must be seated nearest the pogo pin connector, and its blue lines must face away from the display panel assembly. This ensures the optimal magnetic docking connection with the magnets in the hinge of the keyboard base. Place the display enclosure in front of the display panel assembly so that you have access to the pogo connector ribbing cable and ZIF connector. Insert the pogo board ribbing cable into the pogo board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Insert the battery cable into its connector on the system board. Replace the retention tape that covers the battery cable connector. Place the display enclosure into position on the display panel assembly. Carefully press down on the edges of the display enclosure to snap it into place.